Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carter with Bitsby Trippin. We're going to bring you guys a good one today. This is something that I shared out on Twitter a few weeks ago about our current build that we're doing. That's a five megawatt four container implementation using 480 277. So for most people that are, you know, putting something in your home, when it comes to Bitcoin mining, if you're putting an S19 or, you know, a What's Miner or any of the other Bitcoin miners out there, typically you're going to have 208 or 220 or 240. If you're in the U.S., from a power st standpoint, you're going to have that kind of requirement. You're going to have to where you're going to be, it's already going to be stepped down. It's coming into your home. You put a 30 amp plug in there and you're good to go. When you're doing a larger operation or something that you're bringing in, you know, thousands of amps of requirement, you're going to get that power delivered to a transformer. And that transformer most likely is going to be a 415 slash 240 three phase. And then that's going to step down into your power uh, distribution. That's going to go down to a single phase, like 240. That's a typical setup on most miners and that's what the bitmain like s19 series is built around it's it's built to be able to take that 240 connection or that 208 connection and it's going to be able to produce the 3000 plus watts that it's going to need to operate you know a 20 amp 120 is really at the top upper end of about 1800 watts and then you're you're, you're kind of out of out of range there so you're needing that extra leg of power to be able to create that 220 connection and then be able to or that 240 220 connection to be able to operate so what we're going to be showing you today is in the situations where maybe you're looking to expand your bitcoin operation and you're being told from the power company that hey we will step down from a 138 high voltage down into a transformer like a 2500 kva which would be about 2.5 megawatts worth of power and then they're going to come out 480 277 and then typically you would need a pair of some switch gear which would then step it down from fault tolerance and then into a smaller transformer like a 500 mva sorry a 500 kva and then that would give you your 415 the conversion for 415 240 so to go from 480 277 stepped down to 415 240 so that's a typical setup you'll have some switch gear in there in the middle whole thing will probably cost you a couple hundred thousand dollars to do uh or you have this option what we're about to show you today where now uh, Bitmain and even What's Miners have an opportunity to take 277 direct. So it's a much higher voltage. It gives you a better range. You don't have to run as many. The amps are set up to where it's uh, it's a less of it's a less of an impact of a load because you're already you're you have a lot more higher range. So you're not like up the upper upper tier of your 30 amp because you're going to be at 277 versus 240. Um, and you can do this through a power supply change and then a firmware upgrade on the controller to understand that, hey, you're going to be getting 277 voltages. So what we're going to take you through today is just a really quick, we'll throw some music on there and just kind of walk through the various steps of just doing a quick uh, power supply swap out with the Alpha Miner uh, power supply. And there are, Bitmain has some uh, 277 compatible power supplies but the thing i want you guys to look at is some do not have that upper tier of capacitors in it to where you can get the 5600 watts out of it you're probably still going to be in that close to 4000 range so the extra 1600 watts of capacity allow you to overclock your units and get a little more hashes out of your box and then if you're doing immersion it allows you really to take it all the way up to around 5600 watts and take something like a 110 to like 165 tera hash um, so this is just a quick tutorial video with some setup. I wanted to give you some context and versus just throwing it right into you of how easy and quick you can switch out one of these power supplies on the unit. So let's get into this.
All right, my dudes, hopefully that helps if you are looking to do in this change, if you have 277 power, or if you're wanting to just get that extra power and uh, overage that you would require to do some overclocking. If you're in a colder climate and you can overclock these units, these units will run on 240. They will run on 220. They will run on 208. So you can upgrade the power supply. You don't necessarily have to have these for just 277. It's just that they're 277 compatible. So then if you want that extra overhead where you need to get into four or 5,000 watts of power draw because you maybe you're doing immersion, uh, you can use these power supplies for that. So again, this was just a quick tutorial. Uh, you know, there's links below on it. These are not affiliate links. They're just links out to uh, Alpha Miner. Um, so power, you know, power supplies that you can get. These are the ones that we've tested. We may be getting some other power supplies uh, also just for some testing purposes um, uh, for the other, you know, if it's uh, engineering fluids, power supplies that are made for this and some of the Bitmain immersion ones, which also have fans on them. So you can use them as air cool. But I wanted to give you guys kind of some insight because this isn't, there's not a lot of this content on the internet when it comes to swapping out a power supply for these Bitmain devices. Hopefully you guys like it. Like, subscribe, share. We're trying to up up our tempo on these videos, guys. It's just, you know, like everything else, super busy. But hopefully we brought a good one for you guys today. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.